Most men in modern society fall into two categories. The type of men that do what they set out to do, and the ones that don't. This might seem like quite simple, but that's because it is in a way. You're either a man who will do what you want to do, or you won't. And no, I'm not talking about hard work. There's plenty of men in the second category that work hard, but even after so much hard work, they rarely accomplish things. To be honest, I used to be a part of the latter for the better part of my early life. But after tirelessly working on improving myself and leveling up as a man, I've become something like a well-oiled machine, constantly working on and achieving the things I want in life. Over the years, I've learned quite a few lessons about life. These lessons came to me through experience, as well as failure and betrayal. But you don't have to go through all of that, as I've compiled all seven of these lessons in one place for your convenience. So, if you want to be someone who gets stuff done, then stick around as we go through the seven ways to becoming a high-value man. Number one, find a direction. Oftentimes, finding out what you want to do turns out to be the hardest part of it all. Before you can even begin working towards something, you need to decide what exactly you want to work on first. And a lot of people have a habit of getting so deep into finding what they want to do that they burn themselves out before even finding a direction. Deciding a direction in life is always full of arbitrary issues and uncertainties. But if you're smart about it, you will tune out those uncertainties and use logic and reasoning to find out what path is the best for you. Only after you've found a direction will you be able to properly succeed as a man. Number two, find a strategy that stops you from being stuck in the what do I do next phase. Some of the most common techniques or strategies to do so are the Kanban framework or the Eisenhower matrix. Both of these are productivity, prioritization, and time management frameworks that help you to minimize your downtime and efficiently handle your tasks. The former, the Kanban framework is more about minimizing your tasks rather than having them stack up. Always strive to complete your daily tasks as quickly as you can. Number three, your mental energy is limited. Every day you start off with a limited amount of mental energy and the longer the day goes on, the more it gets used up. So, instead of wasting your mental energy on something pointless and mundane, try to focus on using it on productive tasks. Instead of thinking, oh, I'll play some games or watch some movies or go hang out with the boys in the day and come back and work at night, focus on doing the opposite. Finish your tasks in the day, then you can spend the rest of your time doing whatever you want. Number four, don't be materialistic. Stop chasing after the latest iPhone. Stop trading your one year older car for the latest model right out of the dealership. Stop being a consumer slave of the capitalist society you live in. No, I'm not here supporting communism or socialism. But if you're constantly buying up whatever the big companies dish out, you're part of the problem. Instead, invest your money into things that can help you. Invest in something that you can get returns out of. Invest in your company's 401k invest in stocks or in the property. Do the research and open up a business. Or invest in things that aid you in your hustle. For example, if you're someone who works primarily on his computer, maybe you're a programmer or a designer or something like that, then why not invest in a powerful workstation or a nice chair? See how these things, despite being luxuries, actually end up being useful to you? The same can't be said for the latest iPhone. Number five, fix your sleep. Out of all the things I'm going to talk about in this video, this is by far the most important one. You can't do any of the other things without first fixing your sleep. Now, this might be easier said than done, but you can't waste any time with this. Try to avoid blue light before you go to sleep and avoid consuming caffeine at least two hours before bedtime. Have a set time for bed every single day and follow that schedule instead of going to sleep whenever you feel like it. Number six, cut off the toxicity in your life. If you're surrounded by people that are a constant source of negativity and toxicity in your life, then you need to cut them off. It doesn't matter who they are, they're a drain on your well-being. And 
they're an obstacle preventing you from achieving success. Now, I know that there are some people that you can't just cut off, like family members. In those scenarios, try to avoid contact with them as much as possible. They're going to bring you down with them in their negativity. Number seven, take care of your mental health. This is pretty self-explanatory. But a lot of people often disregard their mental health in comparison to their physical health. But what they don't realize is that you really can't move forward if you're dragging some heavy emotional baggage with you. I know it's hard, but you need to let go of the trauma from your past. This might seem heartless, but tell me, how longer do you intend to live in the past? Time and society will not wait for you to feel better. And if you wait too long, you might never catch up. So, even if you feel like crying, cry. But don't stop. Keep running while crying. Never stop. These were just some of the tips that can help you become a high-value man. If you want more videos like this, be sure to hit subscribe and take a look at the other videos on the channel. Why not like the video too? It will greatly help the channel.